My name is Lisa Franks, and sports have always been a huge part of my life. 11:33, will she do it? Yes, a world record. I attended three Paralympic Games and won a few medals along the way until a severe shoulder injury ended my competitive sports career. While healing from that shoulder injury, I found I wanted to be in nature all of the time, and the solution for that was van life. So for the past three years, I've been living in my wheelchair accessible camper van. I chase sun, surf, mountain bike trails, and any other adventure that comes my way. In today's video, I am going on a solo adventure down a desert wash. I probably shouldn't have been out there in my big van when all I saw were jeeps and jacked up trucks. It definitely got my heart racing, and I want to invite you to come on the journey with me. Good morning everyone. I'm coming to you from the desert. I got here last night with a couple of girlfriends and we're just gonna have a girls weekend. Normally I am on the coast because let's face it I'm addicted to surfing so I spend most of my winter in uh, the coast searching for good surf but recently there have been a lot of storms on the coast and it actually washed out the road to the beach that I normally surf at. So I figure while the storms are still going on, I might as well find some good weather. And so, yeah, the desert answered that calling. I'm not much of a desert person, to be honest. When I first started coming out here, I was just against the idea. I thought I would hate the desert. There's just so much sand and it seems so inaccessible for a wheelchair. Sand and wheelchairs don't get along but I've started to see the appeal of the desert. I'm still not a desert fan. I would way rather be in the forest or next to a body of water. Uh, but when the weather is bad, it's a great place to come hang out. In the past years, I've actually brought uh, a mountain bike that's all electric. And I go out with my friends when they're on their dirt bikes and I can keep up with them. It's so much fun to be out exploring the desert, but this winter I actually brought a pedal bike. so. Uh, it doesn't do as well in the sand. I, there's no way I could keep up with my friends on their dirt bikes. So while my girlfriends are out uh, on their dirt bikes today, I'm going to be working on a little project that I've put off. I have an electric cooktop inside the van and it does take a lot of battery juice to run it. So I like to use my propane stove when I can, partially because I love to cook outside and also because it saves my batteries. I don't really have a place to set the stove unless I'm in a campground or somewhere with a table. So today I'm building a little fold down table that will give me a nice place to set my stove and be able to cook outdoors.
I never used to build things or use power tools on my own. I would always just rely on the people around me to do those things for me. Living in a van has forced me to become more resourceful. Because I travel solo, I have to take matters into my own hands when it comes to crafting my perfect living space. Van life has made me rely on myself because nobody's going to do these things for me anymore. So over time, I've gotten more comfortable creating things. I've done small projects in the van. The things I've built might not be pretty, they might not be fancy, but it's incredibly powerful to say I built this with my own two hands. Now that I have a place to use my outdoor stove, I think I need to put it to use. So my girlfriends had to go back to the city and I'm on my own now. So I think I'm gonna go explore. I visited a wash last year out here in the desert and it was an adventure. In my big 22 foot van, I somehow made it through this wash when all I could see were Jeeps and <laughs> jacked up four by four trucks. Uh, sometimes I question if I should have even attempted the wash to drive down it in my van, but I made it out that time and I'm hoping this time will be just as fun. My van does have all wheel drive, but I actually recently got stuck for the very first time in some really soft sand in the desert. This made me lose a little bit of confidence in my van's ability, but I really want to try out this wash and hopefully I can find a decent spot to set up my camp stove and enjoy some lunch. I'm at the entrance of the wash and so we're headed into those mountains. There was some rain a few days ago, so I might not get very far, but I'm obviously very cautious, but we'll see how far I can get on this adventure. softer the sand but I find the trick is you gotta go fast enough that you're not gonna get stuck in the sand but slow enough you can avoid hitting any rocks or anything that's hidden. I know pretty well in this stuff but it does not have a lot of clearance uh, especially with the extended leg the back end hangs off the back of my hand and so Particularly if I'm going up anything steep, the back end actually has a tendency to scrape on the ground. So that's not cool, but we're going to try to avoid that today. And now we're getting into some more rockier stuff, so we're going to navigate slowly through here. The video never does justice to the type of terrain I'm facing. Ooh, that's getting a little soft in here. Woo. Definitely bogged down a little bit. I'm wondering if I should take the right or the left. Or if I should turn around. needed to pull over for a minute or two just to catch my breath and relax a little bit. I just went through a really really soft deep sandy spot and I was like this close to getting stuck in the sand. 
And so now I have to uh, decide, should I turn around and go back the way I came in or do I continue going forward? Last year, the wash was a lot rockier. And so I was just really being careful crawling over these rocks to not damage my vehicle. But this year, it seems like all of that is just covered over with really deep, soft sand. So it's a completely different experience for me. And ah, it's a big decision whether I keep going forward. But I think what's the worst that could happen? I could get stuck or I could have a breakdown in the van. And yeah, those would both suck, but I have my home with me. It would really just be a matter of calling somebody to come help me out, get me moving again, or even maybe one of these Jeeps I've seen roaming around might be able to help me get unstuck if that happens. But my heart has been racing a little bit. It's a lot of concentration just to keep the van moving and knowing that at any second I could get stuck or put in a bad situation. So far, the wash has just been pretty exposed landscape, and I think that's creating the really soft sand. And I'm almost at the entrance to uh, the part that I think is the most interesting, which is uh, the canyon part of the wash. So uh, there's towering uh, rock formations on both sides, and it's really, really cool to drive through. So I've come this far. I don't want to turn back. If I remember from last year, it gets more compact once you're in the canyon. And so I'm going to just bank on that. Now that I've had a minute to sit and think and just calm my heart rate a little bit, I'm definitely leaning towards the reward side in the risk versus reward. Yes, I could get stuck, but I think I'm through the worst part of it. So I've decided, I think. I think I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna see how far we can get. I'm gonna forge on. spot as any to pull over and make some lunch and enjoy this beautiful area that I'm in.
it's moments like these that remind me how incredibly lucky I am to have found this lifestyle. I just built something with my own two hands, ventured down a tumultuous road, and now I'm cooking surrounded by towering cliffs above me. I always thought the desert was a barren place and not welcoming for me, but I'm starting to see things in a different light. By being bold and willing to take risks, I have discovered that beneath the scorching sun and endless sand, there is a world of wonder in the desert. When was the last time you did something risky, just to see where the road takes you? The worries, the doubts, the limitations, they all fade away in the rearview mirror as you press on, determined to see where the road leads. It's a challenge worth taking. To seek liberation and empowerment, that's worth every risk and every heartbeat that races with anticipation. So I challenge you to be bold, be brave, embrace the unknown, and let curiosity be your guide. Because beyond every challenge lies the potential for growth and discovery. As for me, I'll be over here in my trusty van, continuing to chase adventures one bumpy road at a time. wheelchair problems so I thought I would break out the drone in here and see if I could get some cool shots it's just a cheap cheap Costco drone but uh, you know you never know if uh, it could produce some good videos but a big gust of wind came down here and uh, it drifted so I had to push my my drones right here but I had to push from my van through all this soft sand it doesn't look very far and it really isn't but the sand is really soft and does not mix with my wheelchair but I made it um, and hopefully I can get get back to the van in one piece. Enjoy this footage of me crashing my drone. This happened many times. If y'all want to help me out don't forget to subscribe, go back and watch some of my older videos then I can build this channel and start investing in some proper equipment. Until next time, everyone, keep a wheel.